Hi guys, Chris with Microsoft here. I wanted to talk today about some new startup options. It's, it's a continuation of our What's New in Windows Server 2012 uh, series. Uh, <clears throat> so this, as you can see, is a standard uh, things didn't go very well type options. Uh, what I've done is, is uh, slap the F8 key. Yes, it still works. I, In fact, if you've ever sat through one of my workshops, I told you it didn't work. And that's because in the release candidate and in the release preview and all of the pieces and parts before the actual RTM bits, that that was the case. F8 key did not work, but in, in the end we ended up putting that back in. So hitting F8 on boot does actually still bring up the advanced uh, options. What you might see is something a little bit different from this screen. And so we'll, we'll explore that just a little bit. This is not the ad actual screen that's going to happen when things go wrong. So I'm going to do an action and I'm going to turn off this server. I'm going to say don't ask me again and just shut it off. Okay, so MS2, Toso MS2 just had some problems booting up. I powered on. And let's get through post. Let's get through the part where we start to see the nice handy little spinning circle. And we'll turn it off again. Wouldn't recommend this at home, kids. You not too 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 terribly often uh, be surprised if you ended up uh, corrupting the VHD on your VM or uh, causing corruption in your hard drive. So you see, it says pref uh, preparing automatic repair. So it took me causing it to go in just a couple of times on a power off, and it's going to bring us to this uh, this new screen that's got kind of more of a a blue graphical user interface, and it has not finished loading up yet. So. I'm going to give us a little more screen real estate and turn off the toolbar. I'll drink a coffee. And here we are. So we get three options here. And these are actually kind of funny. I, I, I find them amusing anyway. You can either continue and remembering that this menu only comes up after we've already failed a few times. Uh, so, hey, it failed two or three times. Let's just try it again. That would be continue. It'll just continue with a normal boot, and then it'll fail. And come back to this screen. Turn off the PC. It's just, <laughs> hey, I give up. It's broken. We're going home now. Uh, the other piece to that is troubleshoot, and that's the important one. That's what we're going to take a look at. So clicking on troubleshoot gives us a few options, such as the startup settings, the command prompt, and system image recovery. System image recovery is great if you have a backup, especially if it's like on a USB drive or something real convenient where you just pop it in there and go find the uh, restore options and restore it. Command prompt, if you need to run some extra stuff like uh, maybe some disk part commands or do a check disk or something along those lines. Startup settings will bring you to, as it tells you, this magical place where you can enable low, low resolution mode, enable debugging mode, enable boot logging, blah blah blah, safe mode, uh, which shouldn't surprise you too much when I click restart that it's going to uh, drop and then come back up and automatically kind of hit the F8 key for us. So we'll come up here into the F8 menu. And so lo and behold we get into our F8 menu where we can do things like repair your computer. We'll be talking in another series about the ELAM, or Early Launch Elm Town Malware uh, detection, and this is where we can actually turn that off if you ever find that yourself in a uh, position where that is not functioning properly. So apart from that, not much has really changed, and it's still got your safe mode, and you've got your safe mode with networking. Uh, you can go back into the repair your computer screen if you want, and that brings you back to the same blue screen where we were at a moment ago. Another thing that you can do to get to this screen is uh, to jump there from the GUI. So let me bring it up to the graphical user interface here, and uh, we'll show a couple of different options on how you can do that. Okay, so here we are back in the GUI. Sorry about the hiccup on the audio there at the sudden loss of the uh, expression encoder. I have another little vblog that will come out talking about that and why that actually happened to me just now. So anyway, we're up in the GUI. Let's talk about some stuff we can do here. So I'm going to come in here and launch a command prompt. I'm going to right click and run it as administrator. Click yes. Other ways to get into that recovery menu. Here's one of them shout down forward slash restart forward slash O for options 
and then T0. The O, incidentally, will not work if you are in a remote desktop session, because what you're doing is you're telling the computer to restart into a mode which nobody would be able to uh, work with the computer unless they had physical access to it. Well this obviously is a virtual machine connection so I have physical access just as if I had a crash cart in front of the server or had a uh, KVM attached to it but if you're remote desktop in the operating system assumes that you do not have local physical access to it so trying to initiate this from a remote desktop session won't work so just uh, for illustration purposes I'm working on another project over here so let me just launch it up real fast and take a look at the command prompt run it as administrator through remote desktop I'll, sh I'll try it the same command shut down restart options time now it'll say oop parameters incorrect so if I try shut down help me you'll notice I don't even see the um, Oh, oh, it is listed. Okay, so it says go to the advanced boot options, restart the computer. In the in the um, one of the beta copies, we didn't even have the O listed as an option. So you can see it refused to swallow that because it doesn't understand why you would possibly want to shut down with a remote desktop connection in a manner that it will not come back up to the desktop uh, because it won't. So I'm going to hit the O options. You can see that with a virtual machine connection. I actually will honor that command and it's going to come down and then when it does come back up you're going to see it goes straight into these options menu. So I'm going to click uh, exit and continue up to Windows and let it go back into the GUI for me and we'll, uh, we'll talk about some other ways that you can get into those uh, that same menu. Alright so talking about another way that we can get to those same options. What's really interesting about doing it the way I'm about to show you is that it actually doesn't post. You uh, won't see the operating system actually completely unload and then hand it back off to the hardware uh, for a reboot type operation. So I'm going to come in here and pull up my charms and go into settings and I'm going to hit power and I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to click restart. And what's interesting that you'll notice this time is it's going to drop out of my logon session. It's going to go uh, straight down into the options. So you see, choose an option, continue to troubleshoot. But we didn't actually see the operating system post. Click continue, it'll go right back to the OS. Anyway, that's some of the new startup behavior that we'll uh, see. Again, I'll talk a little bit more about ELAM and uh, that part of the boot process, which we saw in another video session, but otherwise, uh, F8 key does still work, despite the rumors. Uh, another key takeaway is uh, the the recovery screen is going to come up automatically after several failures, so if you've got a boot looping server that's blue screening, uh, boot hanging server that is, um, you're having to power it off because it's just hanging on boot and you power it off several times, it's going to come up into that recovery menu. Um, you're going to get neat options automatically, uh, such as the ability to, to restore from a backup or do uh, some command line stuff, maybe run check disk again as I've mentioned, and you'll also have options that uh, uh, you can go in and launch the OS back up. So that's the uh, that's the new boot behavior and I appreciate you guys uh, taking a, a listen today and I'll see you in the next episode.